Welcome to Love of My Daughter-in-Law podcast. I'm relationship expert and master certified coach, Leanne Austin. I'll help you create more connection, love, and fun with others, yourself, and your daughter-in-law. Hey, y'all. You're listening to Love and My Daughter-in-Law, episode number 142, Begin with the End in Mind. What is your end goal? What is it that you truly want? This principle, begin with the end in mind, is a common concept I believe I first heard from Stephen Covey's book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, and then I recently read from the book Heart of the Matter by Russell M. Nelson, which reminded me that begin with the end in mind applies to our lives in countless ways. When a farmer plants crops, he envisions the harvest. When a pilot directs an airplane down the runway, she knows where she intends to land. Beginning with the end in mind emphasizes the importance of having a clear vision of your destination to guide your daily actions and decisions. Here are five simple things to think about as you contemplate your end goal and how to get there. First, visualize your end goal. Whatever you're trying to achieve, close your eyes and imagine your desired outcome. What does it look like, feel like, and mean to you? Some people use some type of vision board or hang up a picture of what they want. Whatever works for you, visualize you achieving your end goal. I've been trying to do this with my pull-up goal. I want to do one pull-up. So I'm visualizing myself putting my hands on the bar, pulling myself up and getting my chin over the bar and then lowering myself down. I visualize the muscles in my back that I'm using. I think about how good it will feel to have the strength to pull up my body. Whatever your end goal is, start visualizing it. Number two, break it down. What are the steps you would need to take to achieve your desire? Write out these actionable items and start checking them off one step at a time. There are so many ways to do this. Do what works best for you, a calendar, a spreadsheet, setting an alarm, a sticker chart. Break it down into a simple format to move you towards your end goal. Number three, prioritize. Spend time on your goal, whether it be every day or a few times a week. Put it on your schedule and do it. When we're starting something new and creating a new habit, it can be really easy to forget about it or not want to do it at all. Consider attaching it to something you already do. Like, before I brush my teeth, I will do this thing for five minutes to help me accomplish my goal. Now, we can't do everything all at once, but we can prioritize those things that we really want and make them happen one step at a time. Number four, stay flexible. Things are going to come up. Obstacles are going to happen. The path to our end goal may change due to some unforeseen circumstance, but the vision can remain the same. When an obstacle comes up, be open to other possibilities. Stay flexible. This is a great reminder that perfectionism is not helpful. It's really not even a thing. No one is perfect. And when we can simply move forward rather than trying to do things, quote, the right way, then we actually achieve our goal rather than pushing it away or not doing it because we think it has to be perfect. Staying flexible and going for B minus work rather than A plus helps us to begin with the end in mind. 
And number five, celebrate. As you're moving towards your vision, take time to celebrate every step of the way. When we cheer ourselves on, it reinforces the progress towards our ultimate goal. However celebrating looks like to you, doing a little dance, looking in the mirror and sharing your accomplishment, giving yourself a thumbs up, saying something to yourself that you'd say to someone else if you were congratulating them. I often say to me, way to go, Leanne, you are rocking it. You've so got this girl. Celebrate as you're moving towards your end goal. So there it is. There's your five simple tips to get you to your end goal. Visualize, break it down, prioritize, stay flexible, and celebrate. I love this quote from Russell M. Nelson. Beginning with the end in mind literally affects everything we do. It helps us set our course, outline the steps to get there, and monitor our progress along the way. Having a vision of where we are headed makes the chances of getting there infinitely more likely. Hmm, something to think about. Here's to begin with the end in mind, connection, and love. Have a good one, y'all. If you found this podcast valuable, please share it with a friend and don't forget to leave a review because it helps more people discover the show. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed this episode and want to create more fun, connection, and love into your relationships, check out my Connection Crew membership and one-on-one coaching programs. This is where I share practical strategies to help you deepen your relationships. Plus, I've got some fun free goodies that you won't want to miss. If you're ready to transform your connections from the inside out, start with my free connection blueprint, your easy three-step guide to connecting with yourself and others on a whole new level. And here's a bonus. If you're looking to strengthen your bond with your daughter-in-law, grab my one question that will instantly boost the love and understanding in your relationship. All the details, including your free connection blueprint and that powerful one question, are in the show notes or at leanneaustin.com. Don't wait. Start creating those deeper, more meaningful connections today.